They're, oh yeah, they're excited. Let's let them in. Look at them. <laughs> it doesn't look good, doesn't look, whatever it is. She got something hanging out of her. What in the world is going on? I don't think that's what it should look like. Oh yeah, let's go give Jackie a treat. Before me and the girls went to go check the Dunbar herd, we had to stop by and check the Big Joe herd first, and all the red dogs. One of our favorite parts of pulling in the pasture is seeing all the animals run towards us. That's usually a good time to start counting heads to make sure everyone's there. It was also cube day for the Big Joe herd, so we went ahead and started giving them cubes. What I noticed as I was pouring the cubes out, I looked up on the hill where we have one pecan tree and I noticed a cow hanging out by herself. If you go back and look, off in the distance you can see a cow up by herself under a pecan tree on the hill. Marissa and I's first initial thought was, she's got a calf. Once we got all the cubes spread out, we wanted to go take a look. We've been excited for all these Texas cows to have their babies for the first time at the Ponderosa. We couldn't wait to go up there and see her new calf. Looks like she's had it though. Watch where you're driving, Dusty. She's got something hanging out of her. As we started to look around and investigate more, looking for a red dog, another mama came by, which is one of our Peter Cole cows. We could tell she was getting close to calving as well, and we knew that she was due any time. From just looking from the truck, there was no red dog in sight. I had to go take a look and walk around to make sure there was no calf. Doesn't look good. What do you mean? That stuff hanging out of her. It doesn't look good, doesn't look, whatever it is. I don't think that's what it should look like. If you take a look closely at the Texas cow, you can see she has some tissue coming out of her. What was coming out of her looked all too familiar to what I saw when we recognized Bell Star had the same look-alike tissue when we first noticed her a couple months ago. If you don't remember, not too long ago, for the first time of being a bison rancher, we lost our first red dog this summer. Bell Star had a complication at birth and had a dead calf. We'll leave her alone. There were some cubes, but. Not feeling confident with what we saw, I wanted to give this Texas cow some space, and if she was going into labor, I wanted to reduce the risk of stress. We can come back and check her after our work is done. With our goal for the day to move the Dunbar and Haas herd to the burn unit to get ready for them to go to their new hay meta, we had to move them out of the nine acres.
All right, we've got the Dunbar herd slash Haas herd out here. We uh, got some rain, which is awesome, and they're super excited, but they were waiting at the gate for us. They've been in here for about five or six days. We got the hay meta ready. We've got water, we've got fencing, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and let them go in the, back to the burn unit for less than 24 hours, and then Marissa and I are gonna come back tomorrow morning. We're gonna bring the cubes out, and hopefully we can get them in the hay meta. They're absolutely gonna love it. Can't wait for them to be out there. First time for our bison to be on another piece of land. They're, oh yeah, they're excited. Let's let them in. Look at them. <laughs> Dunbar's coming! What do you want me to do, Dusty? Hey buddy, here. Come on, Dunbar. Come on. Dunbar. Hey. Come on. Come in here, please. Oh, there. Mm. Come on. Come on, Dunbar. He's further away from those females that he likes. Yeah, he does. He doesn't care. It must be the rain or the rainbows, but this herd didn't want to move today. What we thought would be an exciting time for the Dunbar and Haas herd to go run and explore back into the burn unit with much more space to roam. They did the opposite. They came back to the nine acres. Even Dunbar didn't want to leave the nine acres. Surprisingly, Dunbar wanted to stay and he kept looking back towards the 40 acres where him and Big Joe were previously together and got into it. Since that didn't go as planned, we weren't gonna force them into anything they didn't want to do. We'd have to try again tomorrow. We stopped by to check the Texas cow one last time and still no sign of a red dog. The same symptoms occurring in the recent situation with Bell Star, we were getting worried. 
we'll give it a try on the next time and hopefully we can get the Dunbar and Haas herd and the two-year-old females out on the new hay meadow.